Guillaume Thomas Reynal, the 12th of April 1713 to the 6th of March 1796, was a French writer and man of letters during the Age of Enlightenment. Topic: Early life. He was born at Lappenhaus in Rauerg. He was educated at the Jesuit school of Pezinas, and received priest's orders, but he was dismissed for unexplained reasons from the parish of St. Sulpice, Paris. He became a writer and journalist, leaving the religious order for life. The Abbé Reynal wrote for the Mercure de France, and compiled a series of popular but superficial works, which he published and sold himself. These L'Histoire du Stathaudera, The Hague, 1748, L'Histoire du Parlement d'Angleterre, London, 1748, Anecdotes Historiques, Amsterdam, 3 Vols, 1753, gained for him access to the salons of me. Geoffrin, Helvetius, and the Baron Dolbach. In May 1754 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. The Histoire philosophique des deux Indies He had the assistance of various members of the philosophy coteries in his most important work, L'Histoire philosophique et politique des établissements et du commerce des Européens dans les deux Indies Philosophical and Political History of the Two Indies Amsterdam, 4 Vols, 1770. Diderot is credited with a third of this work, which was characterized by Voltaire as du réchauffé avec de la déclamation. The other chief collaborators were Pecmeja, Baron Dolbach, Paltz, the farmer general of taxes, the Abbé Martin, and Alexander Delaire. To this piecemeal method of composition, in which narrative alternated with tirades on political and social questions, was added the further disadvantage of the lack of exact information, which, owing to the dearth of documents, could only have been gained by personal investigation. He released an expanded edition in 1774 and another in 1780. The philosophic declamations perhaps constituted its chief interest for the general public, and its significance as a contribution to democratic propaganda. The Histoire went through many editions, being revised and augmented from time to time by Reynal. It was translated into the principal European languages, and appeared in various abridgments. Its introduction into France was forbidden in 1779, the book was burned by the public executioner, and an order was given for the arrest of the author, whose name had not appeared in the first edition, but was printed on the title page of the Geneva edition of 1780. Seven new maps for the 1798 English edition were engraved by Thomas Kitchen, Jr. The book examines the East Indies, South America, the West Indies, and North America. The final chapter comprises theory around the future of Europe as a whole. Reynal also examines commerce, religion, slavery, and other popular subjects, all with a perspective from the French Enlightenment. Additional versions of the book included maps of the discussed regions. <laughs> Later life Reynal went into exile, to Spa, and then to Berlin, where he was coolly received by Frederick the Great, in spite of his connection with the philosophy party. At St. Petersburg he met with a more cordial reception from Catherine II, and in 1787 he was permitted to return to France, though not to Paris. He showed generosity in assigning a considerable income to be divided annually among the peasant proprietors of Upper Guienne. He was elected by Marseille to the States General, but refused to sit on the score of age. Reynal now realized the impossibility of a peaceful revolution, and, in terror of the proceedings for which the writings of himself and his friends had prepared the way, he sent to the Constituent Assembly an address, which was read on 31 May 1791, deprecating the violence of its reforms. This address is said by Saint Beuve Nouveau Lundis, she, to have been composed chiefly by Clermont Tonnier and Pierre V. Malouet, and it was regarded, even by moderate men, as ill-timed. The published Lettre de l'Abbé Reynal à l'Assemblée Nationale the 10th of December 1790 was really the work of the Comte de Guibert. During the terror Reynal lived in retirement at Passy and at Montalhuri. On the establishment of the Directory in 1795 he became a member of the newly organized Institute of France. Reynal died 6 March 1796 at Chalot. Bibliography 
A detailed bibliography of his works and of those falsely attributed to him will be found in Carard's La France Littéraire, and the same author's Supercherie's Devoilés. The biography by A.J., prefixed to Puchet's edition Paris, 10 vols, 1820–1821 of the Histoire des Indies, is of small value. To this edition Puchet added two supplementary volumes on colonial development from 1785 to 1824. See also the anonymous Reynal des Mosquets 1791, Cherhal Montreal, Eloge de G. T. Reynal and IV, a notice in the Moniteur 5 Vendemier, and V. B. Linnet, Biographie de l'Abbé Reynal Rodez, 1866, and J. Morley, Diderot 1891. A. J. Précis historique sur la vie et les ouvrages de l'abbé Reynal, Paris, 1820 A. Fugère, un précurseur de la Révolution. L'abbé Reynal, 1713–1796, Angoulême, 1922 Reynal, de la polémique à la histoire, G. Bancarol, G. Gaggi ed. Oxford, SVEC, 2000 G. Bancarol, Reynal Ola Devar de Verite, Geneva Champion, 2004. Peter Jimak, ed., A History of the Two Indies, a translated selection of writings from Reynal's Histoire philosophique et politique des établissements des Européens dans les deux Indies, Ashgate, 2006. ISBN 978 0 7546 4043 1. See also List of abolitionist forerunners <laughs>